Hello everyone out here, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbed Designs. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to encourage you to please hit on the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video each time I upload a new video. Alright, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do some creative design here. Actually, I did this particular video. I actually cropped this out from one of my video where one of my subscribers actually asked me how to do this particular thing again but needed because I did this when I did this particular video there was no voice on it so right now I'm actually going to voice in in this particular video and also I'll be dropping the link to the soft to the raw file that was this CRD file on the in the description so you can actually go to the description and get the raw file from there all right i'm going to go straight to this to how to teach you how to create this particular design in core draw without wasting of time let's just start right away so i'm going to pick this let me just okay let me show you what i did here now i'm going to to do this let me just crop out some part out um, just need the logo itself so that it serves as a guide so that you will see what I'm doing so this is the logo I'm going to drop it somewhere then let me just start from here uh, let me start from beginning I have my text so then I'm going to this is letter 6 so I'm going to use the letter 6 I could also use the letter 9 so yeah they, let me increase it now i'm going to actually look for a font that looks exactly like this now this i'm going to be making use of this particular font i'm just getting a font that almost looks something like that so i'm going to be using this then let's see i'm going to make it bold enough can add the thickness good you know you can see when I do that it's having some shades there so I'm going to remove it let me just make it to be the way it is now so I'm going to, to page now I'm going to I'll be making use of only one of them let me make use of for example I'm going to be making use of, of the six letter six the six only the number six so going to break it apart because that's control K to break apart so I'm going to delete this for now so I'll be making use of this as I said then what I'm going to do right click on it and convert it to curve or you can press your control Q to do that so I'm going to convert this to curve so after converting this to curve click on it I'm going to give the lines black hairline then the inside I'll I want I will do it without a hairline so click out that's instead of me giving it blue just click on this particular side once you click on this side it's going to give it a white hairline so click on there so now from here now I'm going to click on this particular shape now come here I'm going to pick this you can see from here I'm going to click something where here up to this point then I'm also going to click somewhere here to this point this was what exactly what I did on the other particular video on that logo there I did up to somewhere here then I did another one here another one here another one to this place so these are the whole things I did use just piece of straight lines that is what we actually give me these shapes you're actually seeing here so now I'm going to, from here I'm going to pick by shape too so I'm going to now start applying the shaping to each and every of them so now I'm going to start with this I'm going to select this click on the line convert it to curve then I will now adjust this or place it here somewhere here then start working on this particular shape now once I start applying this curve to this particular you 
can see once I'm done with this can do it to be longer than the particular shape there's no problem as far as it gives you what you want to do and then click on this one apply the same procedure the same way you did the rest that's the same procedure you are going to apply to this so I might just fasten this place a little so this is just follow the guide to this guide on all what I did here okay before I press before the speed I'm going to be showing you something else here you can see this one is actually looking somehow you, from this side once I place here I'm bringing it shifting this to this side and click on it to convert to curve once I convert this to curve this time around is going to be I'm going to drag it out I'll make sure it comes outside it won't be the way these other ones are so I'm going to now do it this way you can see I'll drag it a little bit up then adjust a little adjust this a little you can see make it like this this is the way I want it to be I'll start from here so so you can see just do something like this now same procedure applies to this one also so you can just do the same thing to this side to still give you the same results so my speed can all actually start from here So you can see I'm actually done with this particular side of this the whole sh curves so the next thing I'm going to do is the shapes here I'm going to see how to create them now I'm going to start with let me say yeah I'm going to start with this start from here to join to this place same way here to join here yeah join for this side and let me see this a little and then that is all for that one here so let me see one here so I'm going to now adjust do some adjustments to this So now what I'm going to now do now is to actually apply some colors to this particular shape. Now I'm going to come here, come to my smart field tool, ensure you pick the smart field tool, then we are now going to I'm now going to start selecting all these parts. So one thing you need to note notice now is if there was any opening on any part of this particular shape, you can see like now this place there was an opening somewhere that was why when I clicked here it applied to the whole shape there was an opening somewhere here so I'm going to adjust that later when I come here so do this side now yeah 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 So let me see how to adjust that particular side. So let me see. Let me pick the smart field too again. You can see I've been able to fix it. There was actually a little opening. That was why it affected all those parts. So 
after doing this now I'm going to ensure all the whole lines I'm going to remove it so I'll click on all the whole lines and make sure I delete them all the whole lines I actually used I'm going to actually delete them all sorry or better still I can select all this part of this shape select every part of it let me see okay yes yeah, it I've been able to remove all the parts of that particular shape out so now I'll just select the whole of this one and do away with it I don't actually need it any longer I'm done with it so now from here I'm actually going to start applying all those fills and mixture of the colors to this so I can decide to pick any color like now I use in this one this way the color I use in this one now let me try to use a different color so I'm going to make use of let me say this time around I'm going to make use of my interactive fill tool and it's going to be on gradients as fountain fill we're making use of this gradient so going to start with let me make the thicker part here and the lighter part here let me do it this way so so now let me see see how green will look like And this side, let me see how to make it. So you can see I have something like this now so what I'm just going to do is to okay so why see just click on here then copy fill of this then I'll now adjust a little do some little adjustments to it on this side copy the fill of this then adjust So that's how we keep on adjusting until we get the whole shape out then copy the feel of this now on this side the dark you can see the way I'm doing this side with the darker shade I'm actually using it against the lighter side so that it comes out well so you can see how everything comes out now so the only thing i'm going to do is to just to select everything then come here and right click on it to remove out all the hole so you cannot see how the shape actually came out so now we can turn this now like as we have this now you can actually turn it to any thing you want to do like we actually we were initially you saw we were having number six and number nine so you can actually duplicate this and just mirror this you cannot see we have our number nine also 
available yeah so that is just how you can play around with some 3d logos now you can see how i was able to do this so you can actually try and use this effect try to apply this effect in some of your works it will actually try to bring out some 3d effect out from your work or try to give them some styles of, of which you of any kind of which if you want it so i guess you might have learned from this particular section of this video if you actually enjoyed this particular or learned anything from this i want to encourage you to please subscribe to my channel hit on the notification bell to get notified each time i just upload a new video and also don't forget to share this video with people so that you also people also got to learn from it okay until next time bye for now